Hello everybody, thanks for watching, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to restore and upgrade those vintage speakers. Those are Heco Profitons 380 from 1978 and I'm pretty sure they've never been restored or renewed since they've been built in the 70s. So that's what I'm going to do today. So in the first part of the video, I'm going to renew the crossover by replacing all capacitors and the fuse. These are the new capacitors I bought. And in the second part, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the speakers with those speaker terminals here. I've already done that for one speaker. It is easier to use those here as you can use banana plugs or thicker cables. This old mechanism is not very user friendly. So what you need to do is remove the cover and screw off the front of the speaker. Finishing, you can take off the cover. And remove the speaker plugs here. But remember which wire belongs to which connection here. So especially the polarity. If you're not gonna remember that, especially those are two wires with the same color, just make some, some post-its on it. One is enough. Say, okay, positive eight ohm, positive four ohm, for example. All right, so I'm gonna unplug the wires here. Made some post-its on it, so I remember which one belongs to which one. All right. Alright, so I'm going to do the same thing for the speakers, unplug the cables and afterwards remove the crossover. Alright, this is the crossover of the speaker. I'm gonna replace those capacitors here, those three ones, and the fuse with a small resistor. Alright, so the hi-fi store I always get these parts from recommended me to replace the fuse by a small resistor. This will have this will have the same effect but uh, it's going to improve the sound quality and it's going to be safer. So, yes, I'm going to do this as well afterwards. So now I'm going to remove the fuse first.
All right. the rest of the capacitors and solder them to the crossover. Okay, the last one. Okay, these are the old capacitors and the fuse. Now I'm going to prepare the new capacitors. I, as I have to install them vertically, this position, the lag is not long enough. See? So I need to cut a bit of this lag and connect it to the other one. All right, connected. Okay, so I finished the second one and I'm gonna connect the turnover or the capacitor of the turnover again, the new one. Make sure to heat up the pins first, not the solder only, otherwise you're gonna have a cold soldering point and you don't want this.
So these are bipolar capacitors. So you can put them in from both sides. The polarity is not important in this case. But when you replace capacitors with a polarity, make sure you make the positive and negative pin on the right, the right pin inside, so the leg and the right pin. Okay, let's prepare the last one now. All right. So, capacitors are done. Now I'm gonna insert the fuse, or in this case, the resistor. This should be alright. So I'm gonna cut the legs right now and then we are done with the first part more or less. So this is how it looks like. When it's ready, looks good. Okay, let's try it. So now I'm going to reconnect the crossover with the speaker, reconnect all the wires to the three speakers here. Thank you for watching the first photo tutorial. I'm going to show you the next one, in the next part, how to upgrade the speaker with the speaker terminals. And then I'm going to reconnect all the other wires and finish the speaker and close it. I'm testing the speakers for the whole day already. And you definitely, definitely can hear the difference. So I hope I could inspire you to 
restore your own speakers or upgrade your own speakers. Thumbs up if you liked it and see you next time. Bye.